Today I'm showing you how to set up Cox Home Internet by yourself. I'm going to go over step by step exactly how to do it and what you'll need for it to be successful. Then I'm going to show you my experience trying to set up Cox Home Internet. I'm Sherry Riggs, you're watching Whistle Out TV. To set up your home internet through Cox, you need a self-installation kit, which you can get mailed to you or you can pick up in store. And don't forget you will need a modem and a router or a dual modem router. You can rent one from Cox or you can pick one up from stores like Amazon, Target, Best Buy, and Walmart. Then you can look for your cable connection in the wall. And once you have found that, you are good to go and set up your internet. You'll need to grab your coaxial cable from your starter kit and connect it from the wall connection to your modem and router. Then switch on your router modem. Then you'll go to cox.com activate. At this point, you'll either be able to switch your internet on or you'll have to call customer service for help. And if they can't help you, they will schedule an appointment to send a technician to your house to set it up. That will cost you about $55. But once they come, they will help you get your internet connection turned on and then you're good to go. Now I'm going to show you my experience with setting up Cox Home Internet. I'm going to go in detail about the installation kit and some other quirks from Cox. But first we're going to go over unboxing my modem router and the installation kit. When you go to the store, they give you this packet with instructions. This one's in Spanish and English, and it tells you everything you need to do in what order to successfully get your internet. Also in this package is a little cable to connect from the internet to your modem, which I have right here. And then if you have um, internet and TV services, they do give you this splitter. With Cox, you can choose to rent a modem from them for about $9.99 a month, so $10 a month. That is over a 12 month period of service, which is my contract, that's $120. I got this Netgear N600 Wi-Fi cable modem router from Target for $79.99. Um, I just felt like it was a better deal and I didn't want to have to rent if I could buy one and just keep it forever. So let's open this net gear and see what is in there. Um, a con of getting your own modem router is that if anything goes wrong with your internet, then Cox will charge you to come and fix it. If you rent one from them, they will fix it for free by themselves as part of your contract. But like I said, I'm just going to hope that this router doesn't mess anything up and that it works just fine. You can, I can get a warranty if I want one, which I did not get, and it gives me a quick start guide. So it looks like this comes with an ethernet cable and a power adapter and of course the modem router combination. Here's where all of our outlets and inlets are. Power button, monitor. Put this back here for now. And here's our ethernet cable and again, our power cord. Okay, now we are just going to put this all together and get internet going in my house. My self install did not go that well because I didn't have all the parts necessary to connect my coaxial cable. I only had one male cable, but the active line of internet in my house needed a female connector. Cox didn't give me a barrel to connect the two ends, so when I called customer service, they decided to schedule a technician to come connect my internet. The soonest a technician could make it out to my house was two nights after I was hoping to have my internet set up. They gave me a two hour window in which the technician would show up. Once he came, he set everything up in about 45 minutes and even stayed a bit longer to make sure my smart TV was ready to go. Overall, it took me about two and a half days to get my internet completely set up. If you are wanting to do a self home installation for your Cox internet, I would recommend looking at your connector cables before you go picking up your installation kit. That way you can look 
and make sure you will have all the parts you need while you pick up your kit. For instance, if I had looked beforehand, I would have known to ask for a barrel that would have connected the two male ends, but I didn't know that beforehand, so I couldn't set it up by myself. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not frustrating at all and 10 being incredibly frustrating, I would rate this experience of setting up my Cox home internet by myself probably a 6 or a 7 because I couldn't set it up by myself because I didn't have all the parts and I had to wait two full days for a technician to come and set it up for me. Now, if you have any questions or you want to learn more about my experience, please let me know in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And please subscribe because we come out with new videos every Friday all about cell phones, cell phone carriers, the internet, internet providers, and more. I'm Sherry Riggs, you're watching with Loud TV.